So I just want to say real quick that I've been doing a lot of Phantom Forces videos and that it's not from lack of trying of doing AR2 videos. I've been trying to record video after video, but I'm just not getting any good enough footage. And I, the last thing that I really want to do is just give you guys a bunch of random crap. I want to actually give you guys some decent to watch, so. But not to go too long on that because this is a new video. Today, I want to talk about a, a gun that I actually like quite a bit. I got, uh, well, only a couple of kills with it, but cool looking, I guess. So basically, I was going over ammo types for the Saiga 12, then the AA 12. Now for the 1912, sorry, 1911, that is. And there's a there's a couple of funny conversion kits. We have 22 rat shots. What this basically is, is it's basically like a little shotgun. If you look at the stats, you're gonna be like, oh boy, that does no damage at all. And you're right, it doesn't do damage at all. It's like a zip 22. So why would you use it? Well, maybe because it's a three times head multiplier. Maximum damage that you could do is the nine times four, 36. And then you multiply that by three and you got yourself basically a, a little, little one tap machine. If I'm even doing that correctly, I don't know. So basically this thing you got to get headshots with, otherwise you're not killing anybody. Now I'm not a headshot machine myself. I'm not great at Phantom Forces, but what I am good at on Phantom Forces is making an absolute fool of myself trying to show off something that I have no idea how to correctly use. Oh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, am I going pro? Am I going pro? Hold on, hold on. I'm not going pro. So you can kind of see that like if I do torso shots on somebody, like here, okay. So yeah, eight, eight assists. So torso shots are basically just completely pointless to do. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, this is not a ranged weapon. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. This guy's using the 50 conversion. That's not fair. Oh, I shoot a guy in the head, but it's my teammate, so, you know, that's not going to be helpful. And again, I shoot my teammates instead of who I'm supposed to be shooting. What a good player I am. So many people. Okay. So assuming that guy had full HP, I might be able to one tap with this. Here we go. You know, if only I was good. How about that? If only I was good, maybe, maybe. There we go. Not a very accurate test result though. I'm just trying to use a 1911 with four little pellet things that shoot into someone's face, that's all. Or just get one tap, that's fine too. Where did he come from? Can anyone tell me where he came from? Maybe on like a closer range map this might be a little bit better, but... I don't know, Chief, I'm not feeling it right now. I'm just gonna, um, that's it. <laughs> Look how many there are. Holy crap, okay. Well, uh, I don't know what else to say about this. I mean, you kind of saw the gameplay for yourself. I think that if you're on a closer quarters map or you play a lot more like in people's faces, this might be fine, especially if you're good with headshots. But in my case scenario, I think that the 50 conversion would be more of my speed. But hey, your mileage may vary. If you want to give it a try, I'll leave a link to the testing place below. If you want to check out my other Phantom Forces videos, I'm actually going to make a playlist right after I upload this. So you should be able to check it out. It'll be somewhere on screen right now if you want to watch all those videos. I greatly appreciate it because uh, those videos need to get more views. But thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that uh, you learned something about shooting shotguns from a pistol. I don't know where I'm going with this. Thanks for watching.